What is up guys, CT Kidney here, and we are back for part number four, I believe, of our WoW Let's Play. And uh, we have to get more Gortus kidneys, because apparently Gortus have two kidneys, and they're fucking cool. To get some Gortus fucking kidneys. They're cool, man. They're cool. So now we have enough, oh, they have livers too. Alright. So this is what I'm going to do right now. Is I'm going to take a chance to uh, go over some of our abilities. Now, I have no idea what the hell the druid abilities are. Although I see some familiar faces and that's always nice. So, basically what we got here. Nature Swiftness. When activated in your next cyclone, entangling your tangling, healing touch, hibernate, nourish, rebirth, or regrowth becomes an instant, free, and castable in all forms. Incre the healing and duration of the spell is increased by 50%, and it's got a one-hit cooldown. It's got a... What the fuck? The fuck? I believe we're being raided. Bam, 400 damage. We need to get their giblets. Tarantulas. That's so much damage, it's ridiculous. Get a tarantula. Let's, um. Where. We need more of your giblets. Come here. Come here. He, he's not gonna come here. You, we need your giblets. Come here. Come on, we need your giblets. I just want your friggin' giblets. Come on. I just want your giblets. Fine, we'll take this guy's giblets. Blue. What do you mean, evade? Fine, we'll kill you. Then we'll kill you. And you can get over here. No, not you, not the fox, not the fox. Of course it crits. Let's get over there, get the tarantula eye. Jump on you. Uh, no path available. We can't jump on the fucking air. Didn't think we'd be able to. Get, so get the fuck back here, dude. Yay. We got him. Wow. That's, that's some damage. Come on. Now watch it get one shot. Hmm. Of course, the one time I say it, it doesn't happen. There we go. Get two shot. You'd think they'd have more than one giblet. Whatever the hell a giblet is. We need one more of their freaking giblets. Excuse me, condors. I need more giblets. So could you, could you, could you do that? And then before we turn in these quests, oh shit, didn't turn this on. Alright. So come on, come on. No, don't fly. Don't you freaking fly away from me. Don't you freaking fly away from me. I am a druid. You will obey me. You piece of shit. You. 
You're flying away. Oh, you. Yeah, you're flying away. So we need giblets. We are in. Oh, there you are. Red Ridge Mountains is under attack. We're in Red Ridge Mountains. What do you mean we're under attack? Pick up the giblets. Oh, that dude that we saw earlier. Must be him. He's cool. Alright, now we're gonna take that. Oh, and this is something, guys. Check this out. Pacific Dungeons, random classic dungeons. We're gonna find a group. We're gonna join. That's right, we are now queued for Dungeon Finder. You're going to jump into a dungeon. That's right. Eh, uh, we don't need this. We don't need it. Alright. You know what we should do before we actually do any of this? What I'm going to do is I'm going to find a rare spawn. And then we are going to uh, pause for a little bit so I can drop the gold for the heirlooms on my priest. And Snarl Flare. Perfect. Hopefully he'll still be here when we get back. If not, maybe Rib Chaser is back. He is not, but it doesn't look like this camp is in any danger. Alright, so we're going to log out. I'm going to pause real quick. Alright, guys, uh, we are back, and as we can see, Snarl Flare has been killed. God damn it. I knew uh, going to take a little break would not be the best. Because, you know, they're those rare spawn hunters. You know, we're kind of one of them, but you know, not really. So we got the mail from my main character. How is this? Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to go pick it up, put it on, see how much better we are. My guess is we'll be pretty damn good. Because this is a cape a hat I mean I know we all love this we got, what the hell we can't see it we all love the hat we do like how could you hate it how could you possibly hate it but we got actual gear on now right, let's put it on the pants just from the pant that's like so much of a difference it's a huge difference giant difference we have a thousand HP and our damage is gonna be a hell of a lot more God, we're going to do so much. We're going to wreck some face. And now we sign up for the dungeon. 3,000 experience for a dungeon, plus a satchel of helpful goods, which is just, you know, a random piece of gear. Maybe a necklace or a ring, because I know I get those sometimes when I'm going through those. Now, what I could have done is I could have got the feral gear, but... Ooh, the murloc respawn. See how much damage we do. Critting for 400. We don't seem to do that much more. Yeah, we don't seem to do much more. But we do a considerable amount of damage. Uh, let's see how much damage Starfire does. 400. It's decent. Alright, now let's go kill this guy before he can even touch us. Watch. Boom. Didn't even fucking touch us. We're level 16 now. And we got Moonkin and Travel Form. Oh my god. We got Moonkin for him, guys. Look at this. Look at that. Look at We got Moonkin for him. Look at this. We're a friggin' chicken wing. We are a chicken wing. Now let's go through our spell book. 
Go through all the balance spells. We'll put Moonfire on number two. I don't think we can cast Rejuve in Moonkin form. No, we cannot. We'll just keep it there for now. Uh, we'll go with Entangling Roots, because I'm pretty sure you can cast that. And, yeah. Uh, Wild Charge. We can't do that yet. Uh, Wrath is going to be number one. Star Surge. Star Fire. And now we do a lot more damage. Alright, is that... Yeah, it's the exact same action bar. Alright, we're good. Let's go check if the rare spawn is up here. We're still in queue, but that's okay. Rare spawn is not here. That's cool. Let's test out our newfound damage. Starfire, how much damage do you do? Hitting for 400. In Eclipse, I don't even want to know what we're going to hit for. Let's see, Wrath in Eclipse form hits for 279. That's decent. That's decent. Boom. Boom. It's ridiculous. We do a lot of damage. We do. And now, Star Surge, how much do you do? 500 damage. That's pretty damn good. Damn, we're taking on an Eden right now. We're kicking the shit out of it. And bitch. Like, get owned. We just owned an elite without taking any damage. Or with taking little, little damage. We're just waiting for the dungeon queue at this point. It's going to travel for him. <gasps> no way. Dude, we're a fucking... What are we? I don't know. We're a moose. Not a moose. We're a fucking elk. That is ridiculous. We're a fucking elk. I remember when this used to be a cheetah. Now it's an elk. I love this. Dude, this is ridiculous. Boom. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. It's just one mystery I must find out. No way. Is this... It's Cotton Eye Joe. It's Cotton Eye Joe. You do fucking Cotton Eye. I love this. Okay. I had some doubts about rolling a druid, but now that I've seen that the travel form dance is Cotton Eye Joe. <laughs> I fucking love this. I love this so much. Where's Rib Chaser? He's gone, isn't he? Didn't think he would be here. But dude, we get Cotton Eye Joe. Like, what the fuck? Oh, that's pretty ridiculous in travel form. We get to do that. We get to jump forward a couple of yards. It's going to be pretty chill. Me. Then we get to jump back with this one. Still waiting on our queue. It's been five minutes. Bailiff. We must prepare. We need the gnome quarter. And we need to kill some murlocs. Can only be used while in combat. Okay. Oh, what's this? Oh, this is the easy quest. I prefer to wait until we have aquatic form to do this, but you know, we we need to get a necklace. Okay, so we oh, I can't be used while swimming. So if we do this, boom, it kind of works. Uh, oh, it's an eel. Rah. 800 damage. It's ridiculous. Like, if you get hit with that, you die. You got the necklace. 
spam and moon fires now I don't give a crap oh my god okay this queue average wait time is nine minutes we've been in queue for usually the average wait time is correct I'm gonna be perfectly honest there blizzard didn't fuck up on that usually it's correct Now I'm off. Whee! It's fucking fun. I can just tell it's gonna be stupid in Battlegrounds. <laughs> That's gonna be so stupid in Battlegrounds, dude. Like, we, we won't even. Alright, let's go one shot this guy, maybe. If it crits. It didn't crit. Man, that's ridiculous damage right there. Get the gnome quarters right there. Uh, the dogs be barking. I don't know why. They bark at nothing. I keep forgetting we have Moonkin form now. Do 10 times more damage. Bam, more damage. Bam, more damage. Boom, damage. Speaking of damage, we were called to a dungeon to do damage. Let's finish off this quest first, see if we can. We need three more Murlocs. Doesn't look like they're anymore in sight, so we'll just stop. Ooh, we got Dead Minds. Dead Minds is a really good one, guys. Dead Minds is a very, very good one. I love Dead Minds, dude. Dead Minds is ridiculous. And since this is our first time in here, we get the quests. And we're only 10 minutes, well, I know we're a little bit more than 10 minutes in. So I'll factor in 5 minutes. So we'll stop at 55. Because of the other parts. So this is going to be ridiculous, guys. We're going to do so much damage. We got a Paladin tank up in here. Boom. Boom. We're already on top of the damage done, guys. Check that out. You can see right there. Is it set on overall or yeah, let's do current fight. I could probably solo this guy. I could definitely solo that guy. Boom. The damages we do. It's just like ridiculous, man. Ridiculous. Boom, the damages. Oh, we're in eclipse now, man. Eclipse be doing hella damage. Inscribed leather. Ooh, do not mind if we do. Did we get it? We did get it. We don't need Malachite. Ooh, you already have demon form? Damn. Uh, I mean, we already have moonkin form, so I mean, it can make sense. That warlocks would already have demon form. Boom. The damages we do, man. It's just ridiculous. Oh, wow. We pulled aggro. That's how much damage we do, guys. We just we pull aggro left and right. Bam. The damages. And this is our first boss, Club Talk. And we are going to be... Doing hella damage for this fight. Look at this. Already starting off strong. We got our moon fire up there. Starting off with that. Our damage is doing pretty well right now. 
Ah, uh, guys, look at that. We had we had top of the damage done by a hell of a lot. Look at that. Gold flecked gloves. Do not mind if we do. Because no one else here wears cloth except for the warlock. Uh, but the warlock apparently didn't need them. Actually, the warlock did need them. I don't know why. <laughs> didn't need that, but okay. Uh, we turn this quest in. The foreman. Got 100 quests complete. We don't want to attack the monkeys because the monkeys are our friends. thing about the moonkin is we have a lot of single target damage right now. We don't so much have uh, area of effect damage yet. Yet. Moonkin does hella area of effect damage later in the game. Not now. Later. We're just going to kill this guy real quick because we can. Because we don't need a tank. We don't need a tank. What are you talking about? There's a chest over there. Bam! The thousand crit! Anyone else has seen this, I guarantee you. The a thousand crit. Like, get off my D, please. We don't need that. So we are going to uh, pass because we do not need that. We're going to go kill this guy real quick. All right, all right, all right. So much damage. So much damage. Ridiculous, really, how much damage we do. Oh, we leveled up. Alright, at level 18, what do we get? We get Aquatic Formula, we get Sunfire, which is just, um. What's this? Channeled. Commune with the sun and the moon, gaining 25 lunar or solar energy for every one second. Generates power type most beneficial to you. We get solar beam. That's how you know druids are badass. We get solar beam. So we pretty much have all of our major attacks right now. Yeah, so we have all of our major attacks already. Oh yeah, we're supposed to be doing damage. You know, we do enough damage. Like, I, don't, I don't think these guys can really complain about our damage. We we do hella damage. Huh? Oh, accept the quest. And look at that Warlock's level 15. Levels really don't have anything to do with damage in this game. Honestly, because it's all about how you play the character. I mean, it's probably because we just have heirlooms and shit. And we do not need that, so we're going to pass. We're going to save Star Surge and hopefully get enough lunar energy for the Eclipse by the time the boss battle starts. Oh, someone leveled. So we're just going to kill the boss right now. Star Surge. The Moon Fire right there. The Moon Fire spamming. It's ridiculous. Oh shit, no. We used Star Surge in the wrong time when we weren't in Eclipse. Where'd he go? There he is. We're doing all of the damage here, guys. Uh, 
Nah, guys, look at this. We did all the damage. Cruel Barb. I remember when Cruel Barb used to be the shit. Too bad no one uses it anymore. Because it's all about the items. You know what? I'm going to kill you because I can. Because who needs that? We don't. Because we be doing all the damage, guys. We do so much damage. It is ridiculous how much damage we do. So, what other attacks do we, we get? Man, I can't wait. I I honestly cannot wait until we get Typhoon. Because Typhoon's fucking fun. See if we can get anything else from this dungeon. We already got two items. One of which is really, really good. Soon Blizzard will just release complete heirloom sets. And everyone will have like increased 200. And it will be ridiculous, honestly. Starfire just like it destroys them. Like, come on, 1,000 crits. You see them 1,000 crits and you run for the hills. And now cue the goblins. No, no, goblins are running away. What could they possibly be running from? Us. Psh. Nah, they're running from some shit down there. Uh, I prefer the old dead mines to be completely honest. I love the old dead mines. God, it was a classic. Now someone just pick this up. Charges it to this motherfucker. Except we would probably do more damage outside the motherfucker. You cannot heal it, sadly. You know what? I'm just going to pull this guy. Oh, wait, we moon can form. Pull this guy. Because look at that thousand crits. Like, we're doing all this damage. And we're in Eclipse in time for the boss battle. Ah, uh, good. We just keep using this and using this. Boom. The damages. Buzzsaw, we don't need that. It looks pretty sick, but we don't need it. Look at that. Like, our damage is ridiculous. And people say moonkins are bad. damage man like what we're topping the damage dome without even trying I bet if we look at overall data oh yeah look at that like we're doing almost double the damage everyone else is doing we're doing almost half the damage in this entire run and now that we're in the blood zone or rage zone whatever that was called we're just gonna do that much lower just gonna do that much more yeah, we take increased damage, 
but we do more damage. <laughs> okay, so that's what that is. Boom. Boom. Like, this is so easy. Our damage is amazing. We are doing all of the damage. All vast swabs. Repel the invaders. Which is what no one will ever hear again. God damn. Everyone that played Old Dead's mod, everyone that played before pre cata will get that. We're under attack. Of Hasty Swabs. Repel the invaders. <sighs> no one will get that. No one that played everyone that played WoW pre cata will get that, but no. I don't give a fuck about monstrous parrots, alright? Old Beaky, I don't know what the hell Old Beaky's doing there. Like he's he's nothing. Parrot. See, look, the warrior has heirloom gear, full heirloom gear, but we're doing more damage. What does that say? We're just better. Like, that damage is ridiculous. Boom, now we're in eclipse state, do tons of damage. Now let's just do this, and this, and they die. Because we do so much damage, it's ridiculous. Like, honestly, I kind of just want to do this. And pull the whole fucking room. There we go, we pulled the whole room. We're cool. Alright. And uh, we cannot be killed from up here, so if our group wipes, which is very, very rare nowadays, because of heirloom gear. I just jump up here. And we're good. But too bad they're probably going to pull those guys down there. So we'll just work on the people up here. We'll work on this one. Right, we're almost in. I'm ahead of those guys so far. So much damage, man! It's ridiculous. Like these are elites right here, and we're we're destroying them. And where's our group? We we can't pull the boss yet, though. Come on, guys! Like, damn, they're dead. Alright, we gonna go in, like, now? Because we could probably, we should probably do that, like, right now. Thank you. Renew Moonfire. Now, where are the spirits? There they are.
Next fight, we're going to be doing ridiculous damage. Not this fight, but next fight. This guy's just annoying on this fight. You know, we're just not going to do anything until Rip Snarl appears. See if anyone else but us can do more damage. Alright, now we're going to do nothing. Just stand here until Rip Snarl comes back. See if anyone can do damage. There he is. What we get? Smite's Reaver. Oh my god. I remember Smite's Reaver. That was the shit back in the day. Alright, cookies. You don't need cookies or anything. Oh, we could use a wand if we were a mage, but you know what? We're not. Now what he does is he just throws food and we're supposed to run through and eat all the healthy food. Yeah, we got dead minds, yeah. And we got Cookie Stirring Rod, which is also a wand, which we don't need. Open this up, and we got Agility. We don't need Agility gear. Now let's go turn in the quest. Uh, we don't need Agility gear, we'll just pick up the weapon. Because it sells for more. And now, what do we get? We got Sunfire. I put that right next to Moonfire. You know what? No, no. Huh? No, we're not doing it again. <laughs> you guys fucking serious? Now we got Wrath and Sunfire together now. We're just gonna leave. And go do some questing. That was pretty fun. I mean, I gotta honestly say. And now that we got Sunfire. Wait a minute. Can we stack Moonfire and Sunfire? We can. Interesting. Now Moonfire will do a lot of damage. I like that. I like that we can stack Moonfire and Sunfire. Because I wasn't sure we'd do that. But now look. The damage we have going is ridiculous. Just look at that. And an additional 300 something over. An additional 315 over. It's pretty good. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna go back to human form, kinda go into moonkin form, we're gonna switch out of moonkin form, and we're in wargan form! What the hell? That don't happen. What the hell? We went into travel form, but we're not. Okay, there we go. Alright, guys. I feel like we gotta do another battleground. <laughs> but, you know what? I'll save that for next time. Uh, we don't need agility, especially since we just got that uh, this belt from the auction house. All right, so we did some pretty awesome stuff. All right, take the gnome quarter to Lakeshire Graveyard. Let's go take it to Goldshire Graveyard, shall we? And boom! Forward a couple of feet. Always like that. Hey, you got a quest for us? Yeah, you do. Uh, let 
other. Eh, too bad we already have the heirloom ones, but you know what? We'll do it anyway. We need Red Ridge supply crates. Alright, let's go up here. We need no collars supply crates. So we'll go up here. Is there a spawn up there? That'd be pretty nice. We'd hit level 19 if we can kill it. It is not up here. Okay. Huh. One's like never up here. Maybe it'll be here on the way back. Oh, someone is up here killing our stuff. Now we don't like that, do we? Let's put. It's not even worth putting Sunfire and Moonfire on a target that's going to die in like two hits. Ooh, and a dirt stained scroll. What do we do with this? Kill Ardo Dirt Paw. We can do that. We can kill Ardo Dirt Paw. Hi, Etten. You're gonna die. God damn, that's ridiculous. Like, we can just destroy a friggin' Etten. Our damage is ridiculous. Oh yeah, we gotta get the supply crates. Oh yeah, there are no supply crates, because that dude took them. Alright, well I guess we'll just kill stuff then. I don't know. Wow. A 1300 crit. We would have one-shot ourselves. Oh my god. I would have one shot myself. Like, I want to see what the hell happens when we're in a battleground and we pull that shit. Like, do people just go, wow, that's fucking ridiculous. I bet. I like that druids have two dots now. I like that we can stack moon and sunfire. Where the hell? Alright, Ardo Dirt Paw is, he's in the cave. Bloop, dead. Alright, we're gonna get the null collars, no problem. Good. Good on that. Now, where's Yowler? Yowler should be right here. Yep. He is a quest monster, but someone already took the supply crates from him. God damn. There is some supply crates, finally. Oh, we're level 19. We might hit level 20 by the end of this episode. Be pretty nice. Very, very nice. And boom. Boom. Uh oh. -huh. <laughs> Sixty nine damage. Alright, look, it's now the Eden we could easily kill. So we will. No, we gotta save that for when we're in, um. Oh, this dude probably needed the Eden for a quest. Because it is a quest monster later. And we just, like, shit on his day.
Ooh, Sears Cape. Too bad. Oh, whoa, dude. Are you trying to get the... He's trying to get the... Ah, oh, that's so cute. We just stole it. Because it's a little dick that's been taking ours. We should just leave him to die? Yeah, we could do that. In fact, we should. His fault for taking our shit. Friggin' Torns. You have a friggin' stupid ass name. You deserve to die. Tors. Not even gonna pop that bitch a heel. Deserves to die. And it's his fault he took so long to kill those shits and we're just we're just walking in, taking all the supply crates. Just like him. Did the same thing. Okay, and it was annoying. It was really, really annoying. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go out and and we are just going to uh we have fifteen minutes left. So we're gonna go kill our do dirt pa. We need more collars. We should probably go get those. You know, we didn't. We just like slaughtered a whole camp. We should probably go pick those up, right? Five. Uh, the Black Rock Missive. Okay, and if my memory serves me, then he should be right here, but he isn't. Probably because friggin' Tors killed him. We should friggin' kill Tors. Let's just make a... Oh, no, there he is. Bloop. Bloop dead. Get the missive. Now we go kill our dodo pa. So we don't have to run into shit. We don't need pants. Uh, yellow yeah, must die. So, we're gonna go kill Yowler now. Well, not now. Like, a little bit later. While we're in Eclipse, might as well use... And he's dead. The dogs be barking. I don't know why. We take the Eden Control Orb. And oh my god, the dogs be barking. I don't know why. I'm so sorry, guys. They just, they bark. I don't know. They just do. And in one level, we go to... Duskwood. Oh, I can't wait for Duskwood. Duskwood is going to be amazing, guys. We There's Yowler. Ah, right, now let's see. We're going to kill Yowler and he won't even fucking touch us. Watch. Nope, entangling roots, nigga. Can't touch us. Oh shit, the damage is. He touched us. We'll have 100 health, I can guarantee you that. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, supposed to be a boss right here, by the way, guys. <laughs> but heirlooms, man. That's ridiculous. That's supposed to be a boss. <laughs> uh, Blizzard, you tried. But as soon as as soon as we get to higher levels, there are some bosses that are like, "What the fuck?" to kill. Like literally ridiculous. 
you see 10 percent 10 percent uh 10 percent five percent ten percent so yeah shit we're supposed to get an Eden. yeah we And that there is an end. No, 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 you are not killing that friggin' Eden. He killed the friggin' Eden. No, and he killed the rare spawn, too. Damn it. You suck, dude. Come on up here and kill the friggin' Eden that I need. So that dude probably just, oh my god, that dude probably just delayed this let's play by about five minutes. Because he had to kill the goddamn Eton. Look at that, that's, that's 1100 damage right there with two spells. You will get owned by a boomkin, you will. You cannot beat a friggin' Boomkin. Boomkins will destroy your face. Need an Eden. Wait. Wait. I didn't do shit. Eden. Here. Eden. 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 We, I recall correctly, there was one over here. We killed it. So, yep, there it is. What do you mean, out of range? <sighs> Fucking fine, we'll just stand here then. Alright, so let's get into travel form. Way at and way. Dude's on a friggin' turtle. Alright, we're gonna hit level 20. Definitely. Way, nigga. Way. Oh my god, the end jumps too. I love the goat he's got on his back. No. No. My Eton gets it first. Okay. Yeah, you suck, nerd. <laughs> you suck, nerd. You gotta wait for the rock to respawn. What the fuck? What the hell? 
We just died. We just ran. Okay, combat log. You died. We just randomly fucking died. What the hell? Okay. That works. Um, now you guys know what dying is like. In this game, you just randomly fucking die. But okay. Alright, let's go turn these quests. What do you mean? What the hell? Oh, and Duskwood. Yeah, we're going to Duskwood. Don't worry. Yowler. We're gonna level up. Uh, seven. So that's it's more. Boom! Level twenty. Now check this out. We got astral something. We get plus energy. That is ridiculous. I love that. And we get running wild. What the hell is running wild, you might ask? That is our mount. That's right. This is a worgen's mount. It's freaking awesome. Don't hate. You know it's awesome. Do not hate on a worgen's mount. You know it's the shit. Alright, let's check to see if there's any more rest. Bow. Snarl Flare! You're back. Rib Chaser is not here. Guess we'll kill you. And you're dead, Snarl Flare. He put up a good fight. Eh, 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 damn it, okay. Eh, do we, okay, fuck it, we're not gonna, he wouldn't even drop shit anyway. We... So we are leaving now. Because we have hit level 20, we can now go to Duskwood. And I cannot wait until we get this one quest that takes us to this one place in Duskwood that you guys are going to... Oh my god, it's ridiculous. It truly is amazing. I cannot wait. Until we get this one quest in Duskwood, that I'm gonna I'm gonna have to explain so much lore. It's gonna be ridiculous. It's also on how the worgen came to be. And oh my god, I can't wait! I can't wait! I really can't. But you know what? I'm gonna have to because as soon as we get to Darkshire, Darkshire's right there. We are going to have to end this episode. Man, I can't wait. Alright, Astral Communion. That's pretty chill. Like, that's a pretty good ability. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, it... It takes three... It takes four seconds to buff you it takes four seconds off your damage to buff your damage by how much is eclipse by 15 percent four seconds to increase your damage by 15 percent that's pretty legit now I wonder if it Nah, it takes that away. I 
Oh, well, you can see how that'll be ridiculous. Because now what's going to happen is as soon as we get out of Eclipse State, we can just use this, pop right back into Eclipse State after like four seconds. That's going to be ridiculous in boss fights. Because we'll have an empowered Sunfire and we'll have an empowered Moonfire. It'll be so ridiculous, guys. Like, you don't even. Hey, the traveling supplier. Now, what should we buy from him? We can buy this. That's probably the only actually useful merchant in the game. Alright, and now, I'm going to end this by looking for a rare spawn that I do indeed know. Well, that I know of. You're level 22, I don't give a fuck. Down here. Uh, you got, we got rooted. You got freaking rooted. Alright, now let's go in the prowl. Check if the rare spawn is here. And if not, is he in the house? Nope, not in the house. This is uh, Blind Mary. She's blind and her name is Mary. Not much backstory. There is a rare spawn down here with a little bit of lore behind it. Not much, but a little. So I want to get it in there. See if we can find her. Alright, I don't think she's here. So we'll just end it right now. I'll see you guys next time.